Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Friday. So I reckon it's time for another cooking tips and household hints. Guys, in this little video series, we're actually doing like single recipes, something to get together really easy and something that's going to taste good. Or we're actually doing like uh, household hints, you know, where I show you like some basic uh, uh, household repairs and whatnot. But guys, what we're going to make for y'all tonight is going to be a chicken pot pie, man. And I'm here to tell you guys, this is one of my favorite dishes. It's just total comfort food, guys. And what you're looking at here, guys, is this is all chunked up white meat that, uh, guys, I'm in love with those Costco chickens now. I, I know I've, I've done several videos on them, but I'm here to tell you, I get so many meals out of them, guys, and this is what we had left over. I chunked up some chicken breast, and we've got some leftover gravy here as well. And uh, what I'm, like I said, I'm gonna make y'all a chicken pot pie. And I've got, what I've got here is I've got a, uh, a pie crust, a deep shell pie crust, and I've got uh, uh, the top for it right here. We're gonna put a top on it. And uh, what's going in, it's gonna be some peas and carrots, some cream of chicken, and uh, some of this gravy, guys, it's just going to be purely simple. Along with that, we're going to have some mustard greens. <laughs> All right, guys, let me uh, uh, get my stove reheated here and uh, thaw out my shell. And I'm going to take you step by step. Thank you so very much. And we're going to holler at you. In All right, bit. guys, I got my collard Bye. greens going on the stove here. I got my peas and carrots kicking. And uh, basically, guys, what I want to do now is I've thawed out my pie shell here. And what, what you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to prick it a little bit. Now there's been several times I've done this before and I forgot to do this little step here. And it is crucial. I mean, it's not gonna ruin your recipe or anything, but it kind of like gets all puffed up. I'm sure this will puff up a little bit. Guys, I've got the oven preheated to 400. You want to look out, boy? Huh? You want to say hey? Hey! <laughs> All right, boy, over here. All right, guys, let's get this dude up into the oven. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to watch it. I don't want to overdo it. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm ready to drain my peas here. And I got my little sieve here, so I'm going to put it over a pot. Drain them off. All right, guys, what I'll do is I'll transfer my mustard greens to the back and I'll turn off the front here. And I'm gonna let these drain really well. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a bowl. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get our mixture ready. And we're gonna take our uh, Costco chicken breast, dump it on in. This is a simple, easy recipe, guys. We're gonna go ahead and take our uh, chicken gravy we had left over as well. Utilize everything, guys. We, I try not to throw anything out, guys. I, if, you, if you've if you been following me for any time whatsoever, you know I utilize all my leftovers, guys. And I'm hoping I ain't burning you out, uh, you know, doing that, but uh, that's just the way we roll here. All right, guys, I have my uh, cream of chicken. Let's go ahead and add it. All right, guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my peas and get them on in there. Simple and easy, guys. We're just gonna simply stir this up. I mean, how simple is that? Leftover chicken breast, some frozen peas and carrots, a can of uh, cream of chicken soup, and a little bit of leftover gravy, guys. Simple and easy. Got big old chunks in there too, man. It's gonna be good. All right, guys. I made just a, a little bit of pepper, not much. And a little bit of salt. And that's it, guys. That's our filling. Alright guys, now, I don't want to overdo my, my pie shell here. 
I think she's just about there. All right, guys, we're gonna get right back with All right, guys, I'm ready to pull my pie crust. I don't wanna overdo it. But if you see right there, see those little puffs? If, you, if I wouldn't have pricked that, guys, it would have been all puffed up. Okay, guys, I'll right, let guys. the crust cool down just a bit, and now we're ready to add some of our filling here. And I'm sure I'm going to have some left over. Guys, I'll refreeze this, and I'll use this in another recipe. I'm here to tell you. It's going to be good. This reminds me of stuff like your, your grandma would make you. After Sunday, Sunday church. I got all my dishes done, got the kitchen ship shape while the uh, chicken pot pie has been baking. Let's take a peek, guys. I think it's just about done. I can smell it, man. It smells so good. Looky there. What do y'all think? By no means am I, <laughs> am I a baker, but uh, I don't think I did too bad on that. All right, guys. All right, guys, let's pull this bad boy. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Take a peek, y'all. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this cool just a bit. All right, We're guys, gonna get we got our up. cooking tips and household hints meal over to the table. Our chicken pot pie, guys, and I think that I think that turned out pretty good. I'm really proud of myself on this one, guys. All right, guys, uh, we've got all our vegetables and our meats inside our pie there, so I just uh, made up some mustard greens to go along with it. Gonna have a little bit of Pappy's Happy Tears and some malt vinegar and some uh, rolls with it, guys, some King Hawaiians. And I'm here to tell you, what do y'all think? All right, guys, I got it cut up, man. Check it out, y'all. Mom's getting ready to try it. What you think, man? Mm, Is wow. it good? Yeah, that's really good. Is it better than those frozen pot oh, pies you've had? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, guys. I tripped out. I was out how easily it was to cut out, and I thought it was going to all fall all apart. But, uh, dang, on, guys. I'm here to tell you, that's got some next level yum written all over it now. Yummy. All right, guys. Let me get me some, get me some of my pappies on here. On my, on my mustard greens. That's some good stuff, y'all. All right, guys. I gotta go in here and see what this is all about. <laughs> Good Lord. That's delicious. Mm. 
Mmm. That truly is what they say, comfort food. And I'm here to tell you guys, that Costco chicken, I mean it, guys. I wasn't joking when I said I was addicted to it. I'm going to be eating that at least once a week. You can count on that. I mean, heck, fire, where can you get get a delicious seasoned, well-seasoned bird for $4.99 that's guaranteed to be three pounds or over? Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I put a little bit of malt vinegar on the mustard greens, too. Mm. Outstanding. Not only good on fish and chips, it's good on mustard greens. Well, guys, I can't thank you enough for stopping by and visiting with me. Uh-oh. But, uh, I just want to say thank you so very much. I appreciate it. And uh, I reckon uh, we're going to see you Sunday for my Sunday cook. I hope y'all are going to drop on by. And uh, guys, I got to get after this. Mm, it is so daggone good. Mm, look at that, y'all. That truly is next level yummy. Pure ambrosia, taste treat extravaganza. On a superior plane, as my buddy John says. Yumminess, pure ambrosia. Guys, I'm here to tell you now. I'm gonna have to get me another piece. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, y'all. <laughs> Mama oh, getting her goodness. another piece, y'all. I had to get me another piece. I've never ate a pot pie where I could actually hold it up. Ain't that something? All right, y'all. Man, I thank you so very much, and we'll holler at y'all Sunday. Take care now. Bye-bye.